G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I'm very curious going into this one because I know that Wonka is played by Johnny Depp. I do remember watching the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with my grandparents when I was very, very young. I can barely remember most of what happens in the original. So I'm very intrigued to see how Johnny Depp plays Wonka because I do remember watching Pirates of the Caribbean on this channel. And I thought that Johnny Depp was incredible in those, you know, the way he was able to play such an odd character with so much charisma. So I'm very excited to see how he interprets uh, the role of Wonka and just how odd he can be in this. Yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh goodness me, it's like we just started a Harry Potter movie. It's so creepy. Of course, Tim Burton, okay. Dude, that's so creepy, the soundtrack. The vibe is kind of horror. I mean, I guess it is by Tim Burton, right? Uh, why is that necessary? <laughs> it's cool though, the way that they're following each other. Oh, yep, the golden ticket, that's right. Mate. What a process to make a chocolate bar. Dang, this guy must have a pretty successful business. Wow, so miserable looking. The only thing with color is the trucks. This is a story of an ordinary little boy, Charlie Bucket. <laughs> his family was not rich. They barely had enough to eat. That's his house? Charlie Bucket was the luckiest boy in the entire world. Okay. Far out, dude. The poor family. Look at that house. It's like the wind just kind of pushed it over. Evening, Buckets. Evening. Hi, Dad. <laughs> oh, they're all sharing the same bed. That's so cute. Don't suppose there's anything extra to put in? Uh, oh, well. Nothing goes better with cabbage than cabbage. Dang. As long as they're happy, though, and they have each other. Charlie's father worked at a local toothpaste factory. The pay was terrible. There were unexpected surprises. Right. It's exactly what I need. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that's incredible. A head for Willy Wonka. It's quite a likeness. <laughs> I used to work for him, you know. You did. I did. He did. I love grapes. <laughs> I love grapes too. Willy Wonka began with a single store on Cherry Street. 20 years ago? Dang, bro doesn't look any younger. <laughs> We need more Wonka bars for out of chocolate birds. Birds? Yeah. Wait, what? He can do that? He invented a new way of making chocolate ice cream as it stays cold for hours without a freezer. Okay. I need to know his secrets. The largest chocolate factory in history. Yeah, look at that thing. That's insanely large. I do feel like that's the kind of place that would be haunted though. I look at it and I'm like, there's something going on in there. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Don't make it gross. Prince Pondicherry wrote Pondicherry? a letter to Mr. Wonka and built him a colossal palace out of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Everything will be made of either dark or light chocolate. The bricks were chocolate. The mint holding them together was chocolate. Oh. <gasps> Dude, what if it melts? You better start eating right now. Oh, nonsense. I intend to live in it. Oh man. I'd feel gross living in that. Soon after this, there came a very hot day. What am I saying? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, gross, man. Yeah, exactly. What did you think was gonna happen? Yikes! All the other chocolate makers, you see, grown jealous of Mr. Wonka, sending in spies to steal his secret recipe. Oh, of course. Ah, oh, yeah, he's not suspicious. Bro, you're meant to be in the dark, not under the streetlight. <laughs> That's great. 
dog nose came out with a chewing gum that never lost its- Ah, oh, that's, oh, that's so wrong. One day, without warning, Wonka told every single one of his workers to go home. What? Dude! Forever. I'm closing my chocolate factory forever. Just make new products. Or is he that passionate about his job that it's just the betrayal? <laughs> but it didn't close forever. One day, we saw smoke rising from the chimneys. Did you get your job back? Ooh. No. I think I know who's taken those jobs. <laughs> who's running the machines? <laughs> Nobody knows, Charlie. That's the question. I'd give anything in the world just to go in one more time. But you won't, because you can't. <laughs> Whoa. That little factory of yours closes any of us is ever going to get. Wow. What a great attitude, mate. <laughs> Isn't that sweet, though, that they had dinner together and just talked? Oh, I love that. They might be poor, but they're rich in other ways. Nothing's impossible, Charlie. Aww. I love her. <laughs> I love her smile, too. It's so cute. Dang, bro's living it up. He's got his own room. Far out. <laughs> Indeed, that very night, possible had already been set in motion. Mate, it must be freezing living in that attic, though. Look at those little red bikes. Oh, here comes that creepy music again. All right, what do they say? I do love when everyone just appears out of nowhere in movies like this. It's like when all the students come flocking out of the classrooms as soon as the bell rings. I, Willy Wonka, allow five children to visit my factory this year. One of these children shall receive a special prize beyond anything you could ever imagine. Mm. These five candy bars may be anywhere, in any shop, in any street. Oh no! Oh no! This poor woman! <laughs> Mate, what a way to make the whole world gain a few pounds. <laughs> Take the chicken! I want the chocolate! <laughs> That's great. What a great business strategy though, right? Oh man. Oh no! <laughs> but I only get one bar a year. For my birthday. Well, it's your birthday next week. Ooh. The kids are going to find the golden tickets are the ones who can afford to buy candy bars every day. Oh. He doesn't have a chance. Dude! Dude! The kid who finds the first ticket will be fat, fat, fat. <laughs> he was right, though. I mean, look, his logic is very sound. It's just rude. Coconut, walnut, peanut butter, or nougat? I don't like that this kid has no eyebrows. I find the golden ticket. How did you celebrate? I eat more candy. Oh boy. He eats so many candy bars Dude. a day. Not possible for him not to find one. I reckon the best way to find it is to have a bunch of employees that look for it, you know? Like have a business that looks for it. Oh goodness me. That is an evil smile. As soon as my little Ruka told me she had to have one of these golden tickets, started buying up all the Wonka bars I could lay my hands on. <sighs> Mate. I'm in the nut business, you see, so I say to my workers... From now on, you can stop shelling peanuts and start shelling the wrappers off these chocolate bars instead. This is what I'm talking about. This is the most, like, this is the best way to find it, I reckon. I'm guessing he hopes this prize is worth, you know, worth it. <laughs> My golden ticket. Well, gentlemen, I just hated to see my little girl feeling unhappy like that. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dang it, man. She was that close. Daddy, I want another pony. It lasted for like five seconds and then she wanted something else. Gosh, man. Say no every once in a while. And no good ever comes. Spoiling a child like that. Oh, yeah, a child like that, right? Spoil them rarely. Maybe you want to open your birthday present tonight. That's nice. That's really nice. Oh, they wrapped it too with newspaper. You mustn't feel too disappointed. You know, if you don't get the. Yeah, it'll ruin the present. 
The suspense. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, he's so excited too. Nah. Ah, that sucks, man. Oh, it looks like he's about to cry. Uh. We'll share it. Oh no, Chad. It's my candy bar. And I'll do what I want with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what a sweetheart. I bet that's the nicest thing they taste all year, too. This kid deserves the world, man. What a sweetheart. Yep, savor it. Gosh, man. The third ticket was found by Miss Violet Beauregard. <laughs> Whoa, shivers, dude. <gasps> <laughs> Damn. That is not how you spar. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> Trophies and medals, my violin has won. She's just a driven young woman. I don't know where she gets it. Oh my gosh. Is she living vicariously through her? This piece of gum I'm chewing right at this moment. Three months solid. That's a record. I did have my share of trophies. Yeah. Better than all the rest? I don't care who those other four are. Oh my gosh. Her mom looks evil. Despicable. You don't know what we're talking about. Dragonflies? <laughs> Boy called Mike TV. Mike TV? Oh, I expected nothing less. Is tracking manufacturing dates, offset by weather, or retard figured out? So he figured out where the ticket would be. I hate chocolate. Well, it's a good thing you're going to a chocolate factory. Wait for little bug. <laughs> yeah, how smart. He's still going! <laughs> Work. Toothpaste factory thought they'd give me a bit of time off. Ah, oh. Yeah, you gotta keep hope alive. The factory had decided to modernize, eliminating Mr. Bucket's job. That's evil! To move the machine in and then fire him at the same time? Gotta be some job out there that he can do that's physical, you know? Where they're earning more than just cabbages. Man, this poor family. I see. Oh, dude. Bring it straight back and we'll open it together. I love how they're both just as excited about the idea of getting the golden ticket. It's very sweet. Someone so old and someone so young. Such Grandpa. <gasps> <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the one. Dang it. And they just get a... Have that chocolate between each other. <laughs> yeah, man, if you wish hard enough, it will happen. Oh, 10 bucks. Let's go. What a score. Yes. Bro. One, one quarter scrumptious fudge mellow delight, please. Nice, mate. <laughs> yes. Come on. <laughs> Come on, mate! <laughs> you found Wonka's last golden ticket! That's amazing! I'll buy it from you. I'll give you $50. $50?! I'd give him $500 for that ticket. Don't let anyone have it. Take yes. it straight home. Yes. I could tell the second he went into that store and he smiled at him that he was a good guy. Like, and then the way he treated him there. Oh, it's so good, man. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it. Oh yeah, focus. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dang, broken move. When it is time to leave, be escorted home by a procession of large trucks filled with all the chocolate you could ever eat. Mate. So they all get a ton of chocolate regardless, but one of them wins an extra prize. That's tomorrow. Then there's not a moment to lose, Charlie. Precious, he's blowing your nose. <laughs> Get that mud off your pants. Now we must all try. Oh my goodness, dude. Who is going with Charlie to the factory? I will. Bro. Well, Grandpa Joe seems to know more about it than. That's just a shame, too, because he probably would have wanted to go with him. <laughs> Dude's been bedridden for so long. We're not going. A woman offered me $500 for the ticket. We need the money more than we need the chocolate. 
He's right. He's right. People were, w were willing to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for a golden ticket. Young man, come here. Oh, no. <laughs> There's plenty of money out there. You print more every day. There's only five of them in the whole world. Ah. Oh. Only a dummy would give this up for something as common as money. Are you a dummy? Yeah, exactly. No, sir. Then get that mother. <laughs> I love that he's the one who's like, gives him that extra push despite how nihilistic he's been. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love his family, man. It's great. They're all giving each other like sort of competing looks. <laughs> Bro's going to a chocolate factory and he bought chocolate. <laughs> I do love that Charlie and his grandpa are just there. You know, they're just grateful and they are excited where everyone else just wants to, you know, get riches. I'd feel like I was about to join the Hunger Games. And who am I? Well... <laughs> what? The tone of this movie is so odd. <laughs> At least they're having fun. Wasn't he supposed to be sitting there? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what is this? Goodness me, fire out. Oh! Wasn't that just magnificent? <laughs> then that finale. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Oh gosh, man, Johnny Depp. <laughs> he looks so odd. Good morning, Starshine. The earth says hello. <laughs> I'm so confused, man. Welcome to the factory. I shake you warmly by the hand. Bro did not write this. And I used to work here in the factory. Were you one of those despicable spies who every day tried to steal my life's work? Parasitic copycat candy making cads? <gasps> and wonderful. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome Let's back. Move on. Don't you want to know our names? Can't imagine how it would matter. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see where this goes. Sure is toasty in here. I have to keep it warm in here because my workers are used to an extremely hot climate. <gasps> oh. I'm Violet Beauregard. Oh. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care! <laughs> I'm Veruca Salt. It's very nice to meet you. I always thought of Veruca was a type of wart you got on the bottom of your foot. <laughs> And the rest of you must be there for You good, mate? Parents. Yeah. <laughs> Moms and dads. Dad? Papa. <laughs> what is this, man? Okay, then. Let's move along. What's with his voice, too? Whatever Johnny Depp is doing is just... It's so odd, and I love it. Let's be friends. Best friend. Yeah, the backstabbing. Here we go. All the strategies of how to win this thing. Whoa. Okay. Wow. The whole movie has been so dull and then this. Dang. This does look like a Dr. Seuss like book, doesn't it? So interesting. Is that chocolate? Yeah, bro's like, I'm done with this. No other factory in the world mixes its chocolate by waterfall. That's amazing, man. This is making me so hungry now for chocolate. I better not be craving after this. Those pipes suck up the chocolate and carry it away. Looks like a flipping spaceship. Try some of my grass. Please have a blade. Please do. Everything in this room is eatable. I'm eatable, uh, but that is called cannibalism <laughs> and is in fact frowned upon in most societies. Yeah. Just have to clarify. Oh, that's great. You good, mate? Do you want to win this competition or not? No. <laughs> There's a million other ones. Why not start a new piece? 
Because then I wouldn't be a champion. I'd be a loser, like you. Whoa. Mate, these kids are diabolical. Ah, <laughs> I missed him. <laughs> she looks like the cannibal. Dude, you need to slow down. You've got time. What is it? It's a little person. Oh, are these going to be the Oompa Loompas? Prince Wagglers and Snozwangers. Terrible, wicked wang doodles. <laughs> Those names. Oh, dude, I hate flying insects like wasps and bees, man. This would traumatize me. Good on you, mate. I went to Loompa Land looking for exotic new flavors for candy. Dude, not, not it. Okay. I found the Oompa Loompas. Wow. Okay. The Oompa Loompas kept Ooh. looking for other things to mash up with the caterpillars to the bark of the bong bong tree. All of them beastly. No! They couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> oh, dude. <sighs> An Oompa Loompa was lucky if he found three or four coca beans a year. They craved them. <laughs> they worship! <laughs> Damn, bro. Come live in my factory, yes! What a deal. Nice. They are rather mischievous. That is not a good thing you do. Aw, oh, bro. My chocolate must be untouched by human hands. <laughs> Oh no! He's contaminated it. You're wrong. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> oh. That face he made. Oh. Is he gonna die? That <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's too big. I wonder how that pipe is big enough. It isn't big enough. He's slowing down. I can't believe that. The fact they don't care. Look, the Oompa Loompas. Oh, here we go. We got a song. Well, I believe they're going to treat us to a little song. <laughs> Let's go. Damn, this is a beat. <laughs> A nincompoop. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. I love the red. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is definitely Tim Burton. I love how personal the lyrics are. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm so confused. What are they going to do to him? Okay, bye, mate. <laughs> so he's not going to drown? He's going to be okay? I'm hoping this horrific uh, thing puts him off chocolate forever. <laughs> That'd be great. Wow. Yeah, bravo. Well done. Aren't they, delight they are delightful. <laughs> I do say that all seemed rather rehearsed. But they knew it was going to happen. Oh. Oh, they got a point. That pipe, kind of strawberry-flavored chocolate-coated fudge. We will be made into strawberry-flavored chocolate-coated fudge. <laughs> I wouldn't allow it. Can you imagine Augustus-flavored chocolate-coated gloop? Ew. Yeah, disgusting. <laughs> oh, <pfft. laughs> Dude. Take a long stick and start poking around in the big chocolate mixing barrel. <laughs> Wakanda forever. That boy will be fine. Yeah, he knows better. He knows Wonka. Oh wow, look at that! What a majestic boat. It looks like those uh, those river boats the uh, Vikings used. Chocolate contains a property that triggers the release of endorphins, the feeling of being in love. You don't say. Oh, oh. All aboard. <laughs> what is she gonna romance her way into getting this factory far out? It's so odd because I barely remember anything from the original. So watching this, there's like slight things that remind me of moments 
that I can vaguely remember. Like I remember the scene where they're on the boat in the original. It was very creepy from what I recall. Also, I'm fairly sure that Oompa Loompas actually sing a song about themselves. The waterfall is most important. Mixes the chocolate, turns it up, makes it light. No other factory in the world. You already said that. Wow. Just let him say it. Let him have his moment. We're all quite short, aren't you? We're children. Well, that's no excuse. I was never as short as you. I distinctly remember putting a hat on top of my head. Uh, <laughs> you could never reach. <laughs> wow. He's so sassy. Do I? Bonka hadn't thought about his childhood for years. Yeah, I know. It sounds like there's some trauma there, man. The way he talked about parents before. <laughs> oh, I bet he would have loved Halloween. Oh, hey, buddy. The son of the city's most famous dentist. A dentist. Oh, no. I see where this is going. Chocolate is bad for you. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Let's see what the damage is this year, shall we? Dude, it's him. Saruman. They'd get stuck in your braces, wouldn't they? Lollipops. Cavities on a stick. <laughs> Chocolate. Some children are allergic to chocolate. Okay. Maybe I'm not allergic. But why take a chance? What? Dang. Wow. This poor kid. We're headed for a tunnel. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a creepy looking tunnel. There's no knowing where they're going. Just gotta trust the current. Whee! Okay. They're so calm, but also confused. <laughs> the light makes them look so evil looking. Uh, whipped cream. Wow. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> whipped cream isn't whipped cream at all unless it's been whipped with whips. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Everyone knows that. There's gotta be some kind of magic, right? Behind this. This feels like a fever dream. It's so strange. <laughs> this thing feels like it'll just go into one of the pillars and they'll all die. Stop the boat. I want to show you guys something. <laughs> Stop the boat. Oh, the inventing room. Now this I gotta see. This is the most important room in the entire factory. Just don't touch anything. Hey, Mr. Wonka, what's this? Oh. The kids are doing a great job, by the way. These are everlasting gum stoppers. It'll never get any smaller. It's like gum. If you tried chewing one of these, break all your little teeth off. Yeah. They look a little big though. Wow. She said something and her mom looked at her like that. I love how excited he gets. He does love his job. Far out, look at this thing. Bro. It's a stick of the most amazing and sensational gum in the whole universe. <laughs> this gum is a full three course dinner all by itself. Why would anyone want that? Maybe the diet? I don't know. It will be the end of all kitchens and all cooking, and that is all you will ever need at breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and dinner. You need calories. It sounds great. It sounds weird. You sound weird. <laughs> I'd rather you didn't. There's still one or two things that- I'm not afraid of anything. Oh boy. Stupid child. Tomato soup. I can feel it running down my throat. Roast beef with baked potato. Girl. It's a little concerned about the- Blueberry pie and ice cream. What's happening to her nose? Oh no. It's turning blue. Stop chewing. Violet, <laughs> turning violet. Just stop chewing! Girl, just stop chewing! She's a smurf! <laughs> Whoa! Her clothes and her weight? What the heck? Oh no. Like a blueberry. <laughs> he wants to watch, but he doesn't. That is so odd. I've tried it on like 20 Oompa Loompas. It's just weird. <laughs> How is she supposed to compete? That's what she's thinking about though. She can't compete. 
I know kids aren't always a product of their parents, but in most cases they are. And you can definitely tell in this movie. <laughs> I don't know, I feel a little sorry for the kids. A little bit. <laughs> what a fitting song. <laughs> These songs are great. Is this one actor that's doing all of these Oompa Loompas? Dang. That kind of gave me, uh, Polar Express vibes. Oh, boy. What's gonna happen to her, man? Like, they said these kids are gonna be fine. They won't die, but I don't know, man. <laughs> I want you to roll Miss Beauregard to take her along to the juicing room at once. The juicing room? What are they gonna do to her there? Uh, they're gonna squeeze her like a little pimple. <laughs> Oh, man. Come on. They're losing numbers fast. Why did you decide to let people in and why only five? What's the special prize? Mm. The best kind of prize is a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> if you hate gum so much, why do you make it? You really shouldn't mumble because it's kind of starting to bum me out. Can you remember the first candy you ever ate? Oh, here we go. I love that he keeps saying to that kid, though, he keeps mumbling. First candy he ever ate. Also, I love that Charlie keeps asking really good questions. <laughs> Do it. Commit the cardinal sin. <laughs> it changed his whole life. That's kind of cool, though. Wow, taking notes and everything. Becomes an expert. Yeah, I was having a flashback. These flashbacks happen often. Increasingly. Today. <laughs> I gotta say, like, for such a strange character, he's doing a great job at playing him. I myself am in the nut business. Are you? you... <laughs> no. <laughs> You're really weird. <laughs> His delivery is so good. Actual squirrels? I mean, I guess they're made to do that. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, look, look. I think that one's got a bad nut. It's so cute the way it puts it to its ear. Get me one of those squirrels. I want one. Oh, no. All I've got at home is one pony and two dogs and four cats and six... <laughs> and three canaries and a green parrot and a turtle and a silly old hamster. I want a squirrel. Oh, man. Mr. Wonka. How much do you want for one of these squirrels? This is unbelievable. But they're not for sale. She can't have one. <sighs> Daddy. She was told no. I'm sorry, darling. Mr. Wonka is being unreasonable. Was that his voice? I'll get one myself. Damn. Come back here at once. <laughs> this is your fault, mate. Oh, boy. Ooh, they're all watching her. Don't touch that squirrel's nuts. Make him crazy. <laughs> nah. Wonka wants this to happen. Ooh. I'll have you. <gasps> oh no! Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna attack her? Oh. <laughs> oh mate, she's gonna be traumatized. Dude, just step over the gate. Dude, so many keys. Daddy, I want them to stop. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> They're testing to see if she's a bad nut. Yeah, she's definitely a bad nut. Oh my goodness, she is bad nut after all. There you go. <laughs> Where are they taking <laughs> the garbage chute? Oh. The incinerator. Oh no. We only light it on Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. There's always the chance they decided not to light it today. Dude, that's crazy. Bye. <laughs> All right, back to business. On with the show. <gasps> oh, that face. Dude knows what he's doing. Is this how he's trying to figure out who the winner is? Just by eliminating children? <laughs> 
Wow, a completely different vibe, this song. I love that the genre changes each time. I love this. I really do hope that all these kids that have been so messed up, you know, somehow learn and grow from this and become better people. Maybe Wonka's doing them all a favor. He's actually rescuing them from their parents. It's alright, buddy. I found it amusing too. I've just been informed that the incinerators broke and saw three weeks of rotten garbage to break their fall. <gasps> Gosh. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. The elevator is by far the most efficient way to get around. The I didn't know why I didn't think of this earlier. This elevator can go sideways, long ways, slant ways, and any other ways you can think of. And whoosh, you're off. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't lying. Man, it really does go everywhere. Fairy floss. Wow. <laughs> I'd rather not talk about this one. Yeah, I think that's best. <laughs> oh! Oh, hello! What's this? What are they making here? Why is everything here completely pointless? Candy doesn't have to have a point. That's why it's candy. Yeah. It's stupid! Candy is a waste of time. Ah. Uh. Charlie's right though. I'll run away to Switzerland. I won't be here when you come back. Whoa. Dang, bro. All right. Prefer for your kid to leave? Sure. At least he had the decency to look a little upset about it. Sorry, son. We're closing for the night. Oh, <laughs> he didn't even go anywhere. Oh, man. What? No! Are you serious? How? He just up and left? <laughs> of course he goes to the television room. Put these on quick and don't take them off whatever you do. This light could burn your eyeballs right out of your skull. Okay, I hope the next person who's going doesn't go because of that. <laughs> if television can break up a photograph and send it whizzing through the air, why can't I do the same thing with chocolate? <laughs> Did this guy invent teleportation? You don't understand anything about science. First off, there's a difference between waves and particles. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Be like nine atomic bombs. Mumbler! <laughs> I cannot understand a single word you're saying. Bring in the chocolate. I love that Wonka has very limited patience and he just deals with it by laughing so much. <laughs> You know how on TV you can film a regular sized man and he comes out looking this tall? <laughs> what? I love that this just doesn't make any sense. I love that I heard this literally like a week ago when I watched Wally. -E. Oh wow. That's fantastic. I haven't seen a Space Odyssey, but I know that this is a reference to that. Just reach out and grab it. Okay. I do understand why he hesitates though, right? Considering everyone's gotten into trouble doing stuff like this. Only buckets. <laughs> That's your name. What about people? Well, why would I want to send a person? They don't taste very good at all. <laughs> it's a teleporter. It's the most important invention in the history of the world. I love that both of them look at each other like, we got to get rid of this kid. You think he's a genius, but he's an idiot. But I'm not. Of course you're not. Dude! He's gonna be smaller! <laughs> Did he miss the whole presentation? He's gonna shrink! Such an idiot. Yeah, mate, enjoy your last few moments being normal size. He's gone. I sure hope no part of him gets left behind. Yeah, I know, right? He said they go into a million pieces and then come back together. If you had to choose only one half of your son, which one would it be? <laughs> what kind of a question is that? <laughs> he has no chill. There he is. Oh, okay. Mike, the most important thing that we ever learned. Never, never let them near the television set. Nah. <laughs> yep, never let kids near the TV. <laughs> 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 
so odd, man. Clatters up the mind. He makes the so this actor is giving it his all. Oh my goodness. Okay, this kid's actually in danger now. Oh, thank heaven. He's completely unharmed. Let's go put him in the taffy puller. Taffy puller? Hey, that was my idea. <laughs> How much of this did Wonka actually plan? Like, how aware of the kids was he that he was getting here? Because obviously so some of this is planned, right? Still so much left to see. How many children are left? Charlie's the only one left. He's the winner, come on! You mean you're the only one? <laughs> what happened to the others? They died. <laughs> you killed them. Oh my dear boy, but that means you've won! Absolutely delighted. Eyes, you know, right from the beginning. But luckily for us, we have the great glass elevator to speed things along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a little too excited. Speed things along. <laughs> Up, and, Up out. and out. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're going to need to go much faster. Otherwise, we'll just never break through. <laughs> It'll smash into one million pieces. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad! <laughs> wow. I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> Gee. They're really trusting him. I mean, you wouldn't know what else to do, I think, after that, right? Oh, so she's permanently blue. Okay. And apparently extra flexible. Much more flexible now. Yes, but you're blue. Damn, nothing's good enough. Da <laughs> Serves you right. Daddy, I want a flying glass elevator. Rooka, the only thing you'll get in today is a bath, and that's fine. <gasps> I want it! Yes! He's learning! Come on! What the heck? <laughs> they really did stretch him! Okay. I feel like Violet could be cast in horror movies now with that flexibility. <laughs> Dude, that's their home. They're already poor. I think there's someone at the jar. I missed her, man. She's great. This is Willy Wonka. You must be the boys. <laughs> Mom and dad. Charlie's one something. The most something something of any something that's ever been. I'm gonna give this little boy my entire factory. <gasps> Dude. Jackpot. In that one silver hair reflected my life's work. My factory. Who would watch over them after I was gone? I must find a hair. <laughs> a hair. You. I invited five children to the factory, and the one who was the least rotten would be the winner. The least rotten. I mean, it's all right if my family come too. Yeah. And my dear boy, of course they can't. The family hanging over you like an old dead goose? Oh, dude. Chocolatier has to run free and solo. Dreams. Gosh darn the consequences. Oh, I see what's happening. He thinks they're going to be like his dad was for him, right? Non-supportive? Then I'm not going. Yeah. I wouldn't give up my family for anything. Hell yeah, buddy. There's other candy too besides chocolate. <laughs> I'm staying here. Dang. But Charlie doesn't know why he thinks he has to give up his family. Sure you won't change your mind? I'm sure. Damn, bro seems so upset. I mean, I guess he did just get told that he has to choose the factory of his family, right? So he misses out on everything. He's just where he started, basically. Yeah, okay, yeah, poor kid. <laughs> Things are going to get much better. Yeah, that's right. Grandpa Joe spent the whole day out of bed. He didn't feel tired at all. Yeah, he better. Far out. Since he can move around, he could help. Candy's always been the only thing I was ever certain of, and now I'm just not certain at all. I make the candy I feel like, but now I feel terrible, so the candy's terrible. Oh, <gasps> wow. You're very good. <laughs> You're welcome. That's great. Pity about that chocolate fellow, Wendell. Willy Wonka. That's the one. <laughs> Suppose maybe he's just a rotten egg who deserves it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I thought he 
was great at first. He also has a funny haircut. I do not. <laughs> what makes you feel better when you feel terrible? A family. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Usually they're just trying to protect you because they love you. Yeah. <laughs> the way he keeps wanting to throw up. My father? <laughs> no way. At least not by myself. You want me to go with you? Let's go! Hey, what a good idea. Yeah! <laughs> yes, go on a little adventure with Charlie. I have to be more careful where I park this thing. <laughs> yeah, because it's glass, mate. Yep, let's go grab some random child and go and sort out some family trauma. Woohoo! No. What is it doing all the way out here? How did he move it? I think we've got the wrong house. No, you don't. Trust me. <laughs> hey, Dad. Oh, he probably doesn't recognize him, doesn't he? Oh, he's been following his whole career, of course. Yeah, and Charlie knows. He's like, nah, his dad loves him. I haven't seen my cuspids like these. <laughs> Will he? <laughs> Hi, Dad. Oh, you can tell us how happy he is. All these years, and you haven't flossed. <laughs> Hug him. Come on, man. Physical affection. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's nice. And Willy Wonka repeated his offer to Charlie. Sorry, we're late. We were brainstorming. Oh, and he gets to have dinner with them. Come on. <laughs> you smell like peanuts. I love peanuts. Oh. Smell like old people. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. How do you feel about little raspberry kinds? With licorice instead of string. I think you're onto something though, Charlie. Oh, that's that's nice. And he's so young too, so we can actually like help him figure things out, you know? That's great. Charlie Bucket won a chocolate factory, but Willy Wonka got something even better. Dude, what? A family. <laughs> they moved it there. Life never been sweeter that's awesome man <laughs> what a crazy crazy movie and i love that the whole thing about charlie winning a factory was great but it was wonka who actually won the most by the end of the movie right he, he you know fixed that trauma and realized how important family is i love that what a good message that has got to be one of the most bizarre films i've ever seen and not just you know the story and you know, the setting and the music and all that sort of thing. Uh, the choreography as well. It was even just the subtlety from Johnny Depp's performance too that just made the movie so odd for me. Like, and his little laughs and the little chuckles and the smiling. Weird character I felt like could murder you any at any point. It just gave me this weird vibe, man. <laughs> but, you know, by the end of the movie, you kind of get to know his character more and why he's so socially awkward and all that sort of thing. And it totally makes sense, but... I do love that the movie focuses so much on parenting and like the different examples all these kids had in their lives, like Charlie's family, all those different kids that went there and their families, their parents. And then you also had Willie's family, like his dad. I thought that was really cool. And it's almost like Willy Wonka specifically chose to, you know, get five kids that were obviously going to win the chocolate because of some sort of financial reason or because they're greedy or something. And he wanted to get the least awful child, right? It's almost like the whole plan was out of spite. Like his whole thing was against parents <laughs> and feeling neglected as a kid, not uh, like misunderstood. And then the least thing he expected was for one of those kids to be, you know, such a loving and caring kid that cared so much about his family. So I just love that Charlie was able to help him realize um, the intention behind the way his father acted. And I think it's also really cool, the nuance there, the fact that we see these parents giving their kids everything that they want, right? But the kids, uh, you know, they, they're growing into these awful young adults, right? They're becoming terrible humans because of the way their parents are just kind of giving them everything that they want. And then you have the other end of the spectrum, where you've got Wonka's dad, who was very disciplined and didn't let him pursue this passion of his, didn't give him any sort of freedom. But 
it was out of love, you know? It was actually out of like a genuine care. He just stuffed up. He, he you know, he, he made a mistake as a parent, completely cutting his child off from something that he wanted to explore a little bit. It, I just love the nuance there. Like, and then, you know, Charlie's obviously raised in a really good home, right? Where his parents are equally disciplining him but also giving him the freedom to be creative, right? They're so encouraging and they're always telling him like, you can do this, you should try and stuff like that. But then you have those little bits like the grandma telling him to get, keep his elbows off the table. There's still that sort of respect there. I, I love that. It's just, it just shows how complicated it can be and the different sort of kids that are produced from those different atmospheres. It's, I love it. And the whole time I just felt dizzy, honestly. That's the best way I can describe it. Every scene was just so strange to me. I was like, what is happening here? Like now we're going down this river of chocolate on a giant boat, you know, and you've got this crazy music and you know, Wonka's being all weird. Parents are just so odd. Like, oh man, I just, ugh. it was like I was in a fever dream. It was so strange. But I do love that despite the, the weirdness, even some of the creepiness throughout the film, I love that it did capture that wonder. It, I was so curious. I was like, what's gonna happen next? Like what crazy thing is Wonka gonna do? Uh, which, you know, it kept me on my toes the whole time and it made it so much more enjoyable. But yeah, absolutely love this film. That was, that was really fun. That was a crazy movie. I don't think I'll forget anytime soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I had a great time. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.